Well, I've talked about this film a ton of times, now I'm gonna talk about it again. Return to Oz. This has started to get a cult following as that film that scared the shit out of you as a little kid. But we all really liked. And yeah, that's kind of my memory too. I don't remember being so scared that I was crying at this film or anything, but yeah, I do remember it being pretty damn creepy and unsettling. But it was okay because it drew me back in with such a nice main character and such nice side characters and a lot of creativity, and yeah, you know what? I really like this flick. Even if it does have a lot of dark, creepy elements. Speaking of which, let's look at the story. Dorothy, having returned from Oz, talks all about the world she's been to to Auntie Anne. But of course, everybody doesn't believe her. At first they think it's childish play, but she just keeps talking about it and they're getting more and more concerned. And then she starts to fall into a deep depression. So they're gonna take her to a doctor to try this new method that apparently is gonna fix her up right away. It's called shock therapy. Oh yeah, I can see a lot of good things coming from this. But one of the nurses, or was it patients, I was never quite sure, saves Dorothy and sends her out in the middle of a storm. Actually, it might have been safer just to leave her there. But when she wakes up, she's back in the land of Oz. But the Scarecrow is no longer in charge like when she left. Instead, it's taken over by this evil queen with a million heads and the Gnome King, who soon will have control of all of Oz and Dorothy is the key. Along the way, she comes across some interesting characters like a robot named TikTok, another scarecrow-ish creation called Jack Pumpkinhead, a talking chicken, and even a flying couch. Yeah, how's that for an out there cast of characters? And that's the word to describe this movie, out there. There are some strange, creepy creations in this, like the wheelers. Oh my god, when these things first pop up, they'll scare any kid. A lot of the shots and imagery in this film, a lot of critics complain are too scary, and yeah, okay, I'm not gonna act like I don't see where they're coming from, but in my opinion, it never goes too far. It never goes bloody, it never goes too gritty, it never goes sexual, it never goes into anything that's ethically bad. It's just creepy, but yeah, a lot of kids can handle creepy stuff, and if your kids are frightened by this, yeah, I'll understand. I'm not recommending it for everybody, but let's be honest, there's a lot of kids out there that like to be afraid. I was one of them, I know plenty of people that were too. And the fact that this film does have such a following from people that love it, not because it's so bad it's good, but because it's so good it's good. There is a charm to these characters, and there is a kindness, and Dorothy is very likable, and TikTok is a great character, and Jack is so likable. I like these characters, and I like this world, even if it is kind of in ruins. The whole movie has sort of a surreal dream-like quality that both ranges from really pleasant nice dreams into horrific nightmares. But I think there's a lot of kids and adults that can relate to that. If it was nothing but hardships all the way through, or it didn't have a good, nice main character, then it probably wouldn't have worked. But there are some decent moments, and there are some nice creative times, and there is a lot of kindness from our main cast. And like I said, the creativity is wonderful. There's a lot of stop motion in this film, and it looks really great. It actually reminds me a lot of the Harryhausen days, it just looks really good. And the rest of the effects are damn impressive too. There's so many puppets, there's so many giant sets. It's just a great looking film. I think for me when I was a kid I respected films like this because I felt like they were giving me a chance to feel a little older, they were trying to scare me, they were trying to make me a little tougher, and I didn't mind that. I wanted something that was going to challenge me a bit. And for kids, something that's scary but still engaging is kind of challenging. How can we like something that we assume is bad for us and going to scare us but yet we keep watching it? I did a whole editorial about this and if you want to hear more about it, go watch that. But that's not why I'm here, I'm here to review this movie. And in the end, I think it's a damn good movie. I think it's charming, it has a lot of heart, and yes, it has a whole lot of scares. But they're creative scares and they're fun scares, and in my opinion, they never go too far. Is it like the last cinematic Wizard of Oz? No, it's something entirely different as based more on the books. Which could get really dark and really grim. But the reason they worked back then is because there was this charm to them, and there's a charm to this movie too. So I can't help but really enjoy it. If you're curious for yourself, check it out and get ready to have your childhood bejesuses scared out of you.